Hey, Nettie Owens here, uh, Sapari Group, and um, down on the floor today, just getting ready for Momentum Live next week in Harvard of Grace, Maryland. Are you coming? Are you planning to come and join us? I hope so. I'm getting the books ready, and I thought as I was doing that that I might just take a hot minute here, and my husband hates when I say that. Just going to say that. Um, and go over the schedule because I know what it's like to be curious about an event and not really know what to expect. And so maybe you kind of hold back a little bit. So I thought if I'd walk through with you what we're going to be doing, that might help you uh, understand a little bit better. So uh, we, we arrive on Monday. That's what I recommend. Uh, come into town. And as everybody's coming into town, we have such a fun party planned at McGregor's in Havre de Grace um, and we're going to be hanging out we're going to be getting dinner there'll be some music there'll be some folks from around town and they'll be popping by so you get to meet the attendees that are going to be doing this work with you and you're going to get to meet a bunch of other business owners who are so excited to meet you too six to nine come in whenever um, it's going to be it's going to be nice if you had a long day of travel this can be such a great way to just kind of unwind a little bit and get ready for Tuesday. All right, so day one of Momentum Live, you're gonna walk in and you are going to get, oh my gosh, everything's such a mess here, but that's okay. You're going to get an envelope, you're gonna get a bag of materials that you'll be working from, and in that bag will be your book, and this is your program book, and you're gonna to want to keep this year over year, session over session, because this, my friend is going to become your strategic plan. It will be completely filled out by the time that you're done and you'll be able to simply refer back to it as uh, day to day. You know, what are your goals? Where are you going, etc. So in two days, my promise to you is that you will have completed your strategic plan for your business. I've had some folks say like, I don't even know what a strategic plan is. Fair enough. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to walk you through that right now so that you'll get a better understanding of, of all that we're going to create together and what it means for your business. Um, the program materials have information about other people who are helping present, other presenters, the, uh, the sponsors that we have coming together who are amazing. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. We've got Tanya Rapax from Arthur Stein Financial, and she's going to be talking about financials for your business. And I just, I cannot wait. She's got a, a lunchtime period on Tuesday, and um, you're gonna wanna be in that room. It's, you're gonna wanna be in that room. Okay, so Monday, Mixer, Tuesday, 8.30 a.m., be there or be square. Actually, I would come in like, 815 just so you can make sure that you get a seat that's comfortable and you can settle yourself in say hi to everyone we are absolutely starting at 830 on the dot I know it's early but we have a lot to do and we want to be able to finish up by 430 so we, we got to stick on time be there 8 8 15 get in your seat get ready okay you can bring your breakfast no big deal I will have snacks for you I will provide you with lunch good brain food to help you but you can if you want to you can you can bring your breakfast along if there's certain things that you love to have to eat to ingest when you're doing hard brain work bring it um but there will be some time to utilize your computer or your phone or whatever you might be working on to uh, for your business because we have time that we implement the ideas that we're working on in the um in our time together so be sure to bring that too and the other thing that's really great to bring is any, any other time that you've done this with us, or if you've never done it, any other time that you've done goal setting and planning, bring those too, because they're really helpful to refer back to, okay? All right, so this is helpful, because if you're packing, you know, you're gonna wanna know. All right, we come in and we introduce ourselves to each other, because we're gonna be doing some really deep work and we wanna make sure we know everybody in the room. It's a small group, it's an intimate setting, really important to get to know our our friends and colleagues that are going to be working with us and then um, and then we dig into reflection this is such an important time um, and this is why we start with this particular activity um, and the reflection is a time to gather all of the materials gather everything we've learned 
I find so often that we're moving forward and forward at a, you know, a pretty good pace that we don't necessarily pause for a minute to look back at what we've accomplished, what struggles we've overcome, how we did it. And so in this first session of the day, we're going to get all of those resources and materials. We're going to bring them all in and they're going to be super, super important for all of the work that we'll do for the rest of the, the next couple of days. Okay. And then we're going to take a break because this is hard work and you're going to need it. <laughs> um, our breaks are always scheduled. Like right now, every attendee who's coming knows when the breaks are so that they can plan accordingly or they have phone calls, make sure that they're, you know, they get to, uh, take some bio break for themselves or whatever they need to do, take a walk outside. Um, but we always structure those breaks well in advance and we stick to them. Um, so we take a break and then we get into visioning. And so visioning is really about forward thinking, where are we going? And you know, this changes. Like I think sometimes in business we think, oh, it's going to be, you know, I'm going here and I'm constantly reorienting to there. And for the most part, that's like the big, big picture of where you're going is likely going to stay relatively similar. But sometimes there's little tweaks along the way. And we realize like, wow, I was moving towards a goal. I thought that this is the vision that I wanted for myself and my life. And, and, and something has changed and it's important to capture those changes. And if they haven't changed, then this visioning time is really an opportunity to like solidify, to bring it internally and just really make it real what you are moving towards. Um, so we're going to, we're going to do some visioning. Um, I love uh, bringing in Victoria Whitfield's expertise here. You may know her from strategicmeditation.com. Um, she is just phenomenal. And so we blend her, uh, you know, methodologies for visioning with my methodologies for visioning and how we capture it. And it's just a really powerful experience. Um, we're going to talk about obstacles in this first, uh, in this first session. And again, you know, this is pulling all the pieces together. Like you'll notice that, um, the whole day, the whole event is structured in such a way that you're like gathering each ingredient um for the recipe that you're building and then putting it into a pot and by the end you have like this amazing amazing dish that you can take out and serve to all your friends and family hope you like that metaphor okay and then it's going to be lunchtime, and i'm going to feed you as i said delicious brain nourishing food and um and then the afternoon is I, I, this is the fun part for me. I get to watch everybody working on their plans. So now we go into, we've gathered all the resources, you know where you're going, and now we start putting it down. So the beginning part on day one, we're really putting in like the structure and the framework of this plan. Um, it's a methodology that I have used time and time again, and it works, it works. So we want those big boulders, those big, um, like the pillars that our plan's going to be sitting on. And that's what we're going to be putting down on the first day. And we're also going to learn on the first day, or be reminded if you've been before, um, how to write an amazing goal. It's not, it's not smart. Like that's a great methodology and we bring in some ideas from it, but it's not that. It is a two page goal writing structure that I will walk you through um, for every single goal that you are going to put on your plan. Uh, I have found over the years that if I can bring somebody through this process um, for goal writing, they are so like it increases their chances of success exponentially. Um, lots of research on this. This part of this uh, of the workshop I have been doing for 20 years. Uh, leading people through the process of writing really amazing goals that they can and will actualize. Honestly, this part, like, you could come for just this. Ah, I could say that about everything. Okay, so we're going to get into that, um, the structure of your plan, the framework of your plan, and start working towards those goals. And some folks, you know, are going to get really excited and they're just going to want to roll with it. And other folks are going to feel a little apprehension and that's totally okay. They're gonna to feel some resistance to what we're doing, totally okay. 
We do it in a safe space. We have our coaches there ready to support you. I will be in the room with you ready to support you. And Victoria and Azriel Weaver and Betsy Hall, and we're all there working together to help you answer the questions you need to answer to get this done. And I, I've seen it time and again, when you actually put the energy and time and decision making that goes into what we're creating here um, together, um, it matters. It, it's not enough to say, oh, I'm gonna do this or I'll finish it at home. Getting it done at the event is really, really critical. And you know, I help, uh, I help you through that process. Like that's the goal. You walk out the door on the second day with everything that you need. So we're not gonna let you fall here. We, I promise we'll hold you up in this. Okay, so then you're gonna finish up and your brain is gonna be kind of like leaking out your ear, but it's okay. We're gonna go and have uh, a little bit of a break. If you wanna touch base with any of our coaches at that time, you know, you may. And, and then we'll come back together to grab some dinner our plan right now is to head to the Green Turtle in Aberdeen. Um, it's going to be great. Such a shift from all the things that we're going to do. And we're just going to let loose and enjoy ourselves, each other, uh, forming those great new relationships. Maybe thinking about some of the stuff we've talked about during the day, but maybe just switching our framework entirely. And that's on purpose because our brains cannot be on in that way, you know, 24-7. And so this will get you ready for having a good night's sleep and then for coming back the next day. All right, so day two, <clears throat> um, there's gonna be some excitement because now you know, right? Like now you know what you're working towards and you've got some ideas percolating and maybe some things came into your mind overnight or while you were showering in the morning or when you were working out or taking a walk, having breakfast with one of your your um, atten fellow attendees, all of that, you know, and you're gonna come back in the room 8.15, so we can start on time at 8.30. And this morning, um, we're really gonna get more into what are the other things that you need in order to be successful. Um, again, research over so many years says it's not enough just to write that goal down. There's other elements about your environment, about yourself, about your identity, um, about your well-being, about your, your connections and relationships. And so we're gonna go in all that. And we're also gonna talk about what it would be like for you to embrace your CEO identity. And I know I've said this so many times, I say CEO and I get the like glazed over look, no big deal if you don't call yourself a CEO, if your company doesn't have a team and employees and, and a board of directors, that's okay. Because this is more about embracing the identity and then looking at if you were to embrace that leadership role, what would you need to do? How would you need to act? What were the what are the actual job description elements that you need to be um, practicing every single day? So we're going to go over that. Um, that will be for the most part the morning because it's just a lot uh, to be covering that. We will have a break again in the morning, and then we're going to go into our lunchtime period. Um, again, lots of good nourishing food for you in this period. And in the afternoon, it's implementation. That means we are sitting down, we got our books, and we are finishing all of the work. We're doing all the thinking. You might pull aside to a lounge area. You might pull a partner aside to work together. Um, whatever you need, uh, you might, again, tap one of the coaches and be like, hey, can we work through this? And so we do. And in the afternoon on day two, by this point, you will complete it. Um, I make sure I go around. I'm that teacher who's just like, all right, let's let's check that work. Let's see, you know, how you're doing. Okay. And then <clears throat> at the end of day two, should you so desire it, we have Megan Homa coming in. She's going to be taking photographs um, throughout the event, but also specifically at the end of day two, if you want to do headshots or do some staged um stock photos for your company, this is a great opportunity to, um, to take advantage of. Uh, and what I find is it's not just the photos that you're taking for you, you're also engaging with your peers and you build stronger relationships. So it's just a really, really good opportunity. And you'll go and change or relax for a minute and then we're gonna meet for dinner for our celebration dinner. I can't tell you too much about this. It's kind of like one of the secret elements <laughs> of Momentum Live. 
Again, we have a structure for it, but let's just say it is, to me, it's one of the highlights of what we do together is this celebration dinner. Because you know, I get to feed people again. If you've noticed the theme, I love to feed people. Don't look at my physique. I love to feed people. I love to eat. And, um, and we're gonna do that together. So I think breaking bread is an important part of what we do. All right, so um, this is like the fastest I can go through all of the elements and I know we're already at 15 minutes, so stick with me here. All right, so then you're going to be so full and, and, and ready to just get going on, on this plan. Oh, I forgot. Um, also in the afternoon on day two, you're going to start deciding what your mastermind question for day three is. Day three, we set aside for one sole purpose, and that is a hot seat mastermind. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to a hot seat mastermind. If you haven't, um, then you're in for a treat because it's a really special way to, uh, to get the information that you, that you need in your business. Um, so before we go into that mastermind, the day before, we already want to be thinking about what we're going to ask our peers because you have 20 minutes basically for them to be working with you on solving the challenge that you bring to the table. And it goes really, really quickly. And we, we don't want to be fussing around with like, oh, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to ask. But I promise with everything we're doing, again, there's a structure to it. You will know what to ask, even if you don't know right now, or even if you think you know. That happens a lot too. Like, oh, I think I'm going to go to the mastermind and ask this particular question. We get into the work and you're like, that's not what I need to know. And so you bring something else to the table. Um, your mastermind is recorded for you. Um, but what you'll find is a couple things. You'll find that everybody's mastermind somehow applies to you. And you, and you, get, and you get value from listening to what is shared in each mastermind session. And you'll also find that you get this opportunity to shine. And it's so beautiful. You get to share your experiences and expertise in a way um, that supports other people. And so maybe if you've been kind of shy about what you do or, or how amazing you are, this is your chance. Um, you'll see. You'll see on day three. It's going to be really, really good. We take breaks. Um, I think it's every three people or four people. And then we have a break. And then we uh, have lunch again in the middle of the day, another delicious meal. And, um, and then we wrap up after our afternoon session of masterminds. And by this point, usually this is what's happened. Um, you put something on the ask table, which I didn't even mention, but the ask table is, uh, we have it throughout the event and you can literally ask for anything you want, need, or desire. You could say, I need three new clients. I need my favorite, thank you, Victoria, was the cucumber. Um, people have forgotten things that they needed uh, for the for their trip, like somebody needed a toothbrush and that got delivered. Um, someone needed to sell the, their mom's house and it sold at the event, not by somebody you know in the event, but she put it on the table and then a phone call came through from the realtor that said they had an offer. So really truly use the power of this event, put something on the ask table. So you've likely received something from the ask table. You've completed your strategic plan and now you know what a strategic plan is and that's amazing. And you've gotten the answers to the questions that would keep you from being able to implement your plan or that would make your plan um, even better in the mastermind. You've met friends that you're gonna keep in touch with. So many people come to Momentum Live, leave with friendships, business partnerships, new clients, um, new mentors or people that they're going to work with and that's amazing. And you probably took advantage of the next step um, that will be available. I've been kind of alluding to what we're going to be launching next week and we will be sharing all of those details next week and it's likely that you got everything that you needed to make a good decision on whether or not that program was a fit and it seems like it was. So that is nuts and bolts. You're gonna leave on Thursday with just, um, you're, you're gonna feel full. I'm just gonna tell you that. You're gonna feel full because we ate so many good things. Oh, no, you're gonna feel full because of so much that you've received and processed. And so when you leave on Thursday, it's a good idea to take some downtime. Not because you need to like 
scramble through capturing all of the new tactics that you just received, because that's not what this event is about at all. Um, you are going to feel full and digesting like, oh, remember that conversation I had? Oh, gosh, you know, I, my mind is really shifting because of what that person said or wow, I valued being able to share something that's been on my heart for a long time, but I didn't feel like I had anybody I could talk to about it. And so you brought it up and you felt supported because of the people that were in the room. So I hope that hearing this helps you feel really great and confident about what we're going to be doing together. And I am so excited to see you next week. Now, if you watch this all the way through and you don't have your Momentum Live ticket yet, you can still make your deposit and join us next week. But like I said, I'm, I'm on the floor here today because we're getting all of our materials together and I really truly don't want you to miss out. Um, if you do, our next Momentum Live is in Los Angeles and we are already well underway with planning and arranging for, for that event. But I think that you would like to take that step now instead of six months from now so that you finish this year strong and you start this next year ready to go with a solid plan and a way to make it happen. All right, friends, I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.